Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, tonight, again, I will be working on painting the Shore Troopers from Star Wars Legion. Uh, as you can see, I've actually gotten quite a bit more done since the last time uh, we saw our intrepid heroes. So, let me pull up a reference picture or two, just for my own sake. Okay. So, yeah, without any other further ado, uh, while I'm waiting for Carol's raid, I will probably get started on just a little bit of highlighting, and we'll just take it from there. Actually, let me finish painting this gun here. And just working on getting a little bit of this done. Want to get more people in? I'll show kind of how I do my sand effects on the miniatures because I just glued him to the base tonight, and got a lot of the other bases just painted up and ready to go. <laughs> yeah, incoming raid here soon. Should be just about any minute now. And plus, she got raided right before my stream. So that should, should be good for viewer numbers, I hope. up some of the sand effect colors I noticed that I missed some but even with this new base color it's not as big of a deal as when it was like gray or even when I was doing red underneath for the sand color all right Party of 11, all right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Boom goes the dynamite. Woo, thank you for subscribing, Michelle. So yeah, as you can see, uh, gotten the sand on the bases. I've actually gotten the mortar guy on his base. Hey, Gel Tip, thanks for coming along on the ride. <laughs> hey, Warboy. Nice of you to stop by. Yes, moist. And I actually even got a lot of work done on the squad leader. I actually realized I needed to get uh, red, uh, right biceps on all of them. And then that red dot up on the forehead. And then the unit commander, or the squad leader, has this blue here. And the rest of them all have white, black and white stripes. Yeah, got all... <laughs> yeah, you missed it. I got a nice haircut uh, over the weekend. So, got uh, made this a little less scraggly. And uh, this, just run my hands through it and call it good. So, it's actually pretty nice now. But yes, okay, uh, which would people rather see first? Would you 
want me to do the sand base on the mortar or see me do the black and white stripes on uh, all the other shoulder pads. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, these are shore troopers from Star Wars Legion. So, uh, you we saw these first in uh, Rogue One, actually. And then in at least one of the episodes of The Mandalorian. At least, I know for one, one for a fact, maybe a few more. <laughs> well, actually, I since it takes a little while to set up, I'll actually do the uh, sand effect on this mortar base first. All right, and you know what? I've got a bigger miniature holder that I can use for for this one, I think. That way I don't have to worry about it flying all over the place. There we go. We'll get some of these out of the way for right now. Not very good at Star Wars lore, but I painted Grey Jedi version of Ahsoka Tano. Yeah, which in a way she is a um, Grey Jedi or unaligned light side force user. So, uh, what I'm using is the uh, Desert Sand from Vallejo. Actually, one of the other goblins from Michael Mordor's server. Told me about this, so figured I would give it a shot. Otherwise, I was using gray sand, which isn't bad, but it is kind of nice using something more akin to. Uh, and yeah, all of these he wants them desert based because he says he plays all of his scenarios on Tatooine. So even while these are shore troopers, and someday when I get my own, I would love to do some water effects with these guys. For now, I will have to stay happy with just having sand. Well, yeah, I'd have to just then uh, dry it out and I could still use it. I've actually seen some tutorials on people using actual sand on their bases. They still paint it up a little bit. Just so it, I don't know, lack of a better term, looks like real sand. And yeah, he's not too worried about the fire lines on this. Otherwise, I would make a big deal of keeping them on this. I don't know if any people really play Star Wars Legion at all. I don't. I know the fire lines can be important, but since he does just little at-home scenarios with his lovely Scorpla, Yeah, this is really fine, and it actually uh, looks more to scale with the miniatures that I'm working with. do some like to do some other wavy effects though I think I got some pretty decent ones kind of like to make my sand look like it's going about the same way for most of the characters at least so 
I'm doing is just kind of wiggling the tool on its edge just to add this nice little ripple effect. And so what if there's some sand on the mortar lines itself or supports? We've been trudging it through the sand. And there we go. Nice wavy sand. And then I will just set this off to the side to dry. And then I'll work on the shoulder pads, adding a black and white line to all of them. I was going to try and do that off camera, but I'm just like, hey, you know what? Maybe some people would like to see that. So. But yeah, I will, well, you know what, I'll start on an actual grunt, since this guy actually has his... Ah, oh, you're back just in time for the intense stare, Michelle. <laughs> So yeah, I saw that they all have the red biceps, the little dot on the visor, and then there's a black and white stripe on the left shoulder pauldron, which actually, you know what, I'm just going to go with a finer brush. because I will be painting over the majority of this with white as well. I just want to be sure the black lines are well defined. And I figured I'd start on a grunt, so that way if it doesn't look that great, nobody's going to really be looking at him too close. So, okay, so then in this middle area, let's see, no, my white was somewhere. Unless, yep, put it up, and I'll just, you know, bump the camera to show you my armpits. You know, everything like that. Um, yes, they are kind of moist because, uh... I just put the sand paint on there before my stream started. And I'm using uh, Vallejo's uh, Dead White, the white here. Yes, Warboy said moist. All right. 
Yeah. Let's get that to focus. Not too bad. Looks like uh, right out of the movie. So, <laughs> now let's do that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six more times. But most of these are going to be on arms that aren't uh, connected to guys. So I could probably just go ahead and connect them and make my life a little bit easier. Alrighty, so let's look at the instructions to see what pose gets what. Alright, Kneeler Boy. I think he gets... He gets this one? It. Let's not just throw it all over the place, huh? Yep, okay. So, the fun process of me figuring out which arm goes where. And then gluing it on. And yet, for those of you who don't know too, with Star Wars Legion models... Only certain arms can go in certain models, so at least there's no real way that I can bungle this up that much. Which I say, you know, that much. I still could if I tried hard enough. I believed in myself. That one. Yeah, you're helping. That's one word for it. There we go. Let's just put a little doll up there, a doll up there. Hey, look, he actually looks like a stormtrooper. Oh yeah, you you're helping a lot. Let's see, and he has the heavy weapon. Okay, yep, it's this guy has the heavy weapon, so I'll just just make sure though. So how's everyone else been doing? I know I caught up with a lot of people on um, music on Carol's stream, but if you got anything that you're working on that you want to share here too, feel free to do so. I don't need to worry about Running Man right now. Let's try and get this one. There we go. I see a few little touch-ups I might have to do on some of these arms, but hey, we'll see how they look once I actually get them glued into place. Who knows, maybe the touch-ups I would have to do won't even show up.
So that's kind of the problem sometimes of painting with sub-assemblies. You'll spend a lot of time on a certain part of a miniature. We're in on the basing for your Spirit of the Forest. Need more coffee before moving my... <laughs> moving your Butox to work. Yeah, I'll still need to hit it a little bit, but... Okay, that one's good. This one. So. All right. I'll be here. Just seemed kind of awkward. Yep, that seems better. Now this one goes here. Um, yeah, if you get that turtle that uh, that turtle that you were sending pictures of to me earlier, uh, honestly, probably just the best thing for you to do is just buy it and have them send it to me. I can do all the assembly and everything. Uh, I know what I would be doing, and that's not nothing. No offense to you at all. There, just I would know how to put it together better and um, how to deal with some of the mold lines that would be possibly be on the print. Okay, so now that we got the arms on, now I'm not just trying to struggle and hold the arms while I'm trying to paint those little lines. I can actually hold on to the holder itself. Oh yeah, like I've had other people who just uh, have commissioned me for stuff and they've ordered it from a store with a 3D printer and they just have it sent directly to me and then I'll do these, obviously as you saw just now, I have no problem doing a little bit of assembly with models. So it's not like it's outside of my comfort zone. And yes, fun to think that this time next week I will be at ReaperCon with Carol. And my dad. That'll be fun. Be at the pizza dungeon party at about this time. I know, Michelle, I wish you could be there. And yeah, um, with some models, like with some of these, like getting some of the chest areas, uh, it is way better to just get it without everything in the way. Uh, down in Denton, Texas.
yeah, one of these years. We'll have to just kind of coordinate it, too, to where everybody can just be there together. Oh, and uh, Carol, would you like me? I'm actually going to go up to my brother's brewery this coming weekend. Is there anything you would... And I was thinking of bringing up a growler, bringing down at least a growler of beer. Uh, is there any type of... Of beer that you like the best or do you not drink beer so I figured the goblins could at least uh, share a drink together ah okay but who knows maybe maybe I'll find a beer that you would actually like Cause that's kind of what it took for me too for the longest time I did not drink any beer at all and then I actually found like the right kind yeah he's just starting to do his uh, own distilling he's only brewed like a few test batches nothing that he's super comfortable with sending out into the public yet Um, I will have to check. He has a great honey porter, though. That is actually named after my other online persona, which was Abe Simpson. So Abe's honey porter, he actually made that beer with me in mind because I actually started, once I really found the beers I liked, Found turns out I am, uh, yeah, porters are the, are the most chocolate-like. Um, but yeah, uh, he made that honey porter with both me and my dad kind of in mind for it. And actually I'll have to see what else he has on tap. I know he always has the honey porter on tap. Yeah, I, cause I was just thinking since I'll be driving, I can, uh, cause he only sells growlers. And yeah, I don't think, uh, the plane would allow you to bring that on board much less put that in your bags to go back yeah just a little something to try chocolate bot that's one that's pretty good it's pretty chocolatey okay well you know what I'll see what he has and I'll try to bring something accordingly Otherwise, I'll just keep it for myself. Okay, and then this actually bordered this. Oh yeah, it'll be cool just to hang out. And to have Jake there too. It'll just be cool seeing seeing some goblins in real life. And again, like I said, just even leaving the state and the area code too will be nice. Okay, now on to the white lines. Use this touch. I'm quite curious how you shall paint those fabric pieces with stars. So 
This must have been kind of when I was away. Oh, yeah, what fabric pieces are you doing with some stars? Or on what miniature? Or is that just kind of like, oh, which project do you mean? Because it's just, there's so many of them. I guess this is about the closest that I've gotten to doing some actual pseudo free handing. So let's hope I don't just wig myself out now. Senility does run in my family, so it could have been suing something and just only spacing it. <laughs> just reminds me of this meme where it's kind of, I, I can't help but laugh at it. It just shows this old lady laughing and she says, I may have Alzheimer's, but at least I don't have Alzheimer's. And I know Alzheimer's is a terrible thing, but I just I just can't help but giggle at that. So I'm sorry if that's insensitive to, to somebody. I really do, but sometimes I just have that gallow sense of humor. Really, I'm tonight a little bit confused because I watched the last seven various paintings. Ah, okay, yep. That would lead to me being a bit confused, too. Just, who did I watch doing what? Yeah. A little bit of humor in serious situations is always okay, provided it's not too in poor taste. But hey, there we go. I'd say that white line, and let's see, turned out pretty good. Okay, um, he's still drying, obviously, um, so I will probably do some washes on these, man, I need to glue a gun on his back for right now, hey, Kiko, I did, 
did not miss the shroomy bass. It looks really sweet. Yeah, uh, Muse is really good at doing, uh, at making mushrooms, just kind of like, uh, Michael is. You did, you did sneak in fashionably late. But hey, you're here. That's the important part. Hey, you could always announce yourself by playing the moist sound effect if you wanted. But okay, um... Moist. There we go. I'm actually repainting the larger shrooms for the tree base right now. The color just didn't fit. Sigh. Eh, well, I mean, you, you live and learn. So, alright, uh, I'm going to do a uh, sepia wash on the rest of all these bases. That definitely needs to dry quite a bit longer. So, hmm. Alright, which would people like to see me work on next? Because I have a box of scout troopers and I have a box of Infer the box of Inferno Squad. So, which would people like to see me work on next? I'll actually let... Wish I knew how to do polls in the stream. But we'll just do it that way. Uh, people just shout out what they want, either... Uh, and here, I'll even show you the boxes. Yeah, I said scout earlier, so I could do the scout troopers. So I have scout troopers or inferno squad. Seven, yeah, seven, seven. Yeah, and honestly, Muse, I really don't have much of a preference. Uh, either way, they're getting done, so. <laughs> I have my Huffing Hollow Hexwind Wraith Nightness with my many shrooms on her base. Magnetized piece, stomping Tau Piranha pilot, including at least seven other minis facing two xenomorphs. Wow, that is quite the diorama. Okay, so we have three for Inferno Squad. While you guys are talking amongst yourselves, I'll do the sepia wash. And then I'll do the unboxing of which one I need to do. Yeah, Kiko, I actually uh, noticed, too, that I didn't do the white stripe on the shoulder pads and give them all the bright red bicep. And then a small little red dot. Uh, no, they're, they're all black, but with, like, some red stripes and red uh, imperial insignias, which will be a challenge to do. Yeah, Inferno Squad was the main squad that you followed in... I think it was Battlefront 2 on PS4 and whatever iteration of Xbox it was. I can never keep those straight because it was the Xbox One, the Xbox 360... But yeah, the Xbox, the Xbox 360, the Xbox One, the Xbox 720. Eh. Here, I'll even show, there's the box art for Inferno Squad. XS XL. Yeah, 
Yeah, they are, and it's a lot of black, but I always tend to do my blacks very different when they, I don't know, lack of a better term, collide or coincide, I don't know which would be the better word for it. Or just when they're together on a model like that. And I know I said I was going to do my scout troopers, but hey, I kind of like to let you guys feel like you have uh, an important say in what I do on my stream. And again, as always, don't forget to follow and subscribe. The geometric term is adjacent. Okay. I can't just say one day's all up in each other's bidness like that. Oh yeah, and like with this sand color too, I did just try that with the sepia wash, which uh, it didn't look bad. I'll share a picture on uh, Twitter later. Or I could just send it to myself and bring it up for you guys. Didn't look bad, but if I hadn't have done the rest of all the sand bases this way... Uh, yeah, I'll try to keep it all uniform since he asked for a certain way and I've been painting it a certain way. So for consistency's sake, I went with painting this the sand color and then giving it a wash. But it'll look pretty good with just a wash on it. Just so you know. Okay, I have one more to wash, and we are at a solid three votes, I believe, for Inferno Squad. So then that probably means, well, I mean, I'll start them on this stream. But yeah, then I'll probably do the uh, Scout Troopers off stream. Do you ever try to make sand yellow or bone white lie brushed highlight? Um, I do it afterwards, actually. Um, here, let me show you. Uh, actually, here's... My Agent Callus. And yeah, his head's magnetized, so it's not just missing. Um, then I actually do the same sand color as a dry brush over it. And let's see, I did the same on these uh, Rebel Pathfinders. I think you can kind of see that. Yeah, I just did a wash over them, and then I did a dry brush of the same sand color over it, just to bring out the edges again. I'm trying to see... I wonder where Lando went, because I think you could see it really good on him, too. There he is. Hold on. Here's another good example. So, yeah, like here's the uh, Stormtroopers. Stormtrooper upgrade squad that I did. You can kind of see the dry brush highlights.
showed up pretty decent on Lando here. Okay. So, while all of those guys are drying, let's open up this Inferno Squad. Take a look at this. Nice little. I'm gonna leave all the data cards in the box. So that's one thing I definitely need to keep track of too, since he's actually using these to play the game proper. He will need all the data cards. Okay. So we got one trooper with a few options. Well. I'll always go with the heavier option just because there's always, uh, yeah. Or I could magnetize it, which yeah, I do have a magnetization video up, which includes one of my first real blunders with uh, trying to record a video myself because I forgot to hit, uh, make sure that my sound was recording. So. That's just a tad embarrassing. All right. Special Forces leader, and then two named troopers, and just a few other troopers in here so yeah looks like some of the special like the name characters and the leader have red stripe see that just for my personal experience is for me show more deeper when highlights are made before shading after and then just very lightly corrected done some 3d printed tatooine style building with this method that like 40k but star wars uh it, it's more like it's an actual war game so there's actually measuring sticks there's uh fire movement phases firing phases so uh yeah it's this is very much 40k but star wars and in my defense this was definitely not around when i was starting to play 40k uh will i try to play this at some point yeah i'm interested in it But it is not this day. So maybe I will Esther Michael at some point to see if he wants me to magnetize some of these guys or not. So some of these I will just be putting straight, well, mostly together. I'll leave the, the arms off on a few of these. So let's just start with the Special Forces Leader. I'll just have the, uh, yeah, maybe for point constraints. Uh, again, since I don't play, I don't know what it would, how it would bungle things up. Here we go. Put it over here. Well, you say in my defense like you knew I was going to ask. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> Yeah, at the time there really wasn't much in the way of Star Wars Wargaming. So, alright. All of these are numbered and labeled. So I need 301. And where are my clippers? Clippers, clippers, clippers. There they are. <laughs> okay, so we need A01. Zero 02. Zero yeah, 
at least like this guy should be pretty easy to flip all the way together right out of the gate. Jeez, and there's even a little little chest piece is actually now let's hope I just don't drop something while I'm on stream and you see me just go beneath my desk and curse out curse for a little bit trying to find some of these small parts all right so this part part here yeah this part here it's gonna go on the chest piece but uh it's gonna get the rest of the model assembled first and then get that on there so it'll be safest on the sprue for right now. And I always do a little bit of a dry fit first. And I also see... I'm going to flip the sprue, didn't get it all off. this on camera um I've thought of getting a printer but I don't have my excuse for the longest time was I didn't have a good ventilated area since the office where I paint has no windows and otherwise it would have to go through like the little living room down here that was typed so bad well I got what you're trying to say at least um yes I've thought about getting one for some commission stuff but I don't have a well ventilated enough area and plus uh, I don't want to be sure like I had a bunch of people that I could turn to with printing stuff which seems like there's a fair share in the goblin army now that are really up on this whole 3d print printing mumbo jumbo and there's my super glue I see this fiddling with scalpels first thing <laughs> yeah blood for the blood god ventilation is the problem I have too no real plate yeah and yeah I really don't have a ever since I got like my airbrush booth which uh, so Jan if you're here love you for making it really appreciate it but yeah that took up any other spare space I had in my office then Kind of holding this together. Yeah, if I wasn't streaming this, I probably would use plastic glue on a lot of this. But uh, since I kind of want this to set up a little bit sooner rather than later. Okay, and we will glue, glue the face together. Yes, there is. Uh, and also with the curing with that, there's fumes. And there's not a lot, but it's just enough that with the girls in the house, I really don't want to have to try and deal with that. Okay. And he's looking that way. Yeah, once I really kind of looked into it and heard from a few other people kind of some of their experiences it's just kind of like okay this is not for me right now maybe eventually in the future there it will be but right now no oops 
Sorry. I'm trying to keep this all on stream, too. Speak up or use a uh, sound effect, too, if I'm drifting too much off camera, guys. You know, just say A phrasing or hello there or whatever. Plenty of sound effects. Get this arm on too. Oh wow! And I uh, just saw how long I've been on, and I've been on for actually almost an hour already. Wow. Well, thanks for making the stream fun, guys. Not that painting it isn't fun in of itself, but hey, it's, it's always great having others along with you that. want to be here. Looks like that goes like that, so I might might leave that arm off for the initial painting. Yes, yes it does. Another stock Imperial Forces special trooper. Just put that arm over there. Hey, and you were good background for my mini painting. I actually got a lot done on my guys too while I was on your uh, stream. Holy cow, that must be some dark force and gluing plastic parts with super glue. In fact, I'm almost never using super glue on plastic. Um, yeah, I've just used it enough that I kind of know about how much to do to uh, make it stick a little bit faster. But of course, now that I say that, I've jinxed myself. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's not the size of the pony, uh, it's how many at the show make it enjoyable. Yep. You are right. Okay, and that is the other sprue. So that's all the other special characters. So, uh, let's see. I'm trying to pronounce your name right. Sin, uh, Sintar, Sintarindir, El, Eldark. <laughs> I pronounced that correctly. Or should I just call you, uh, Sin or Sintar for short? So aside from that, uh, oh, yeah, um, Kiko, my, uh, old buddy Tim, I, I won't say his last name, but whenever we played, uh, Warcraft, uh, he would always call the ogres orgies, and, yeah. With the ambient sound background, I'm starting to... Please not sin. Eldark will be fine. Okay, yeah. And that's why I figured I would ask. Starting to prepare myself to work. Minis are waiting in my studio. So, uh, yeah. So what minis are you working on? Aside from that epic sounding diorama with uh, Tau and Xenomorphs, which I love the crossover there, by the way, too. <laughs> well, I'm glad... <laughs> I'm glad the thought of orgies made you think of me, Kiko. 
<laughs> and yeah, aside from Legion, um, I actually, uh, Eldark, I actually uh, have a Space Wolf army. Moist. Ooh, moist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and actually, um, here is the test scheme I did for my Necrons. Let's kind of have that, see if that'll focus. I went with a cracked base with red underneath. And yeah, kind of a Christmassy color, but it was a lot of fun to paint. And thank you, Delay Capture, for the Box of Immortals, too. Yeah, it was actually, uh, I'll pimp them again, it was a Turbo Dork metallic colored paint called Spicy Meatball. And I actually just used an airbrush on all of that. Plus Eldark, I kind of have a little bit of a pinch here like a vice it's kind of an incredible force of will willing it together just kind of look at it like a pimp just saying you gonna be together 12x bolt action loof off a pair troopers spring fall season in Spittermutzer, 43 camo, almost done. 2x Panzer, 4 and Tiger, done. Oh, thank you, Haas. Thank you for the follow. And a stolen Russian cannon with a crew for a DAK, in short. <laughs> no, Warboy. Funny, but no. Well, that sounds like, that sounds cool. Um, yeah, uh, give me a follow on, uh, uh, I'm on Twitter and I'm on Facebook with the same name, uh, Gareth Redmar. But yeah, give me a follow. I'd be interested in following some of your other stuff. Uh, or, uh, if you have a link, go ahead and put it up. Because I think I'm link friendly. Yeah, sounds like some interesting stuff. I'd love to see it. And I just realized I went past an hour, so I will... Yeah, might just kind of glue this face together. And I will probably call it good. So while I'm doing that, if there's any other follow-up question... Let me see the OnlyFans for more... <laughs> Yeah, let's not glue my fingers together. Yeah, not anymore, but then they reversed it until they changed their minds again. Mostly on Facebook, I have Insta and just some samples. Okay, um, yeah, um... I'm under uh, Gareth Paints Minis on uh, Facebook, so uh, if you give me a follow there, I'll follow you back. Yeah. Well, it's been on the news everywhere now, so it's okay to say we know about uh, OnlyFans, Kiko, because it's been in the news so much. So, you know, you have to do some field research. All right. Thank you, and I'll give you a follow back, because it sounds like you got a lot of interesting work. So... And go ahead and give me a follow on here uh, if you if you haven't already. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, um, 
yeah, thanks for sticking around, guys. Or thanks for coming in. Oh, I'm not on Instagram. Uh, sorry. Segway into the same name. Oh, my God, the fans. <laughs> Well, um, but yeah, um, thanks for swinging by, everybody. Thank you again for the uh, raid, Muses Touch. I always appreciate it. Um, yeah, this made for a really fun, good stream. Uh, time flew by. All right, yep, I see the message that you just gave me, man. So, okay, sweet. So, yeah, um, yeah, thank you very much, guys, for uh, swinging by. Um, I will probably do my Monday stream, but then next Wednesday, obviously, I will be at ReaperCon with Carol. Uh, and actually with my dad. He'll actually be driving down with me. Yeah, wouldn't be a Goblin Double Feature if it wasn't a raid. Yeah. All right, have a great evening, everyone else. Thank you so much for all the new follows and all of that. So, uh, yeah. Um, with that, I will bid you all adieu. And just to remember, just to keep painting.